So I would like to teach you uh, a zikr, Sufi zikr. Uh, I, I entitled it uh, Zima Zikr because she's the one who showed it to me. I think this is many, many years ago. At the time she uh, showed it to me, she mentioned who had uh, put it, you know, who it came through. Uh, I'm afraid that, that person's name is gone with the clouds for me. So uh, I apologize for that. Uh, you know, in general, uh, doing this music that, that I do here, uh, I, you know, for me this is spiritual music and I don't really uh, put any uh, uh, monetary concerns at all with this. This is completely given away free. It, it never came to me. Uh, you know, except as a gift from, you know, the divine, and I just pass it on. I try not to do any commerce around this subject. I just uh, trying to encourage people to be able to take up this practice, you know, even complete beginners who've never played music before, and let them have the ability to uh, use music as prayer. So that that is what I would like to do. So I apologize to who you know to whomever uh, this this melody came through uh, uh, anyway we're uh, doing the best I can so so uh, so this is a very beautiful zikr it goes up and up the neck and then down the neck and back and forth so if you can uh, take some time here put it in pause and write this down so I am not really that concerned with teaching you how to write music, at least not at this point, maybe sometime in the future. I do want you to try to use your ears in this, but it's like, again, I, I said this earlier, it's nice to have a visual uh, of what you're doing. It's very helpful, and, uh, you know, do the best with this that you can, okay? So, very good. how it goes. I'm not going to sing the numbers, uh, I'm just going to play it very slowly. On melody on the third string. We sing in this one, uh, Allahu Akbar, and um, you know, uh, unfortunately, kind of in our contemporary times, is being used as a battle cry. Um, the real deep mystical meaning of Allahu Akbar, a really good translation for it is Allah, or you know, the, the divine, is greater. And 
by greater, then it begs the question, uh, greater than what? So it, 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 uh, this um, mantra, you know, this sacred phrase, is addressing this edge that we come to in our lives where uh, we've come to the limit of our knowledge. And yet there's more. And so we, we, we're always being pulled forward to know more and more and more, whether it's in the you know, smallest subatomic particles or in the naming of things or reaching out for the stars and you know, building a Hubble spacecraft that flies off into space you know, billions of light years away and, and, and takes pictures and sends them back to us. And that is Allahu Akbar. It's always greater. You know, we're being drawn forward always always beyond our knowledge, just like we're being called, being pulled. So uh, it's, it's, you know, on a mystical level, it's an incredibly a beautiful concentration. So here's the, here's the lyric. Allah. like a pumping motion with my hand where I'm just just doing all downstrokes like that. It gives a very nice sense of drive. It's, uh, I call it pumping and it comes from rock and roll guitar, uh, for me anyway. You know, it just kind of has a driving sound. So going up 
you know, it, it tends to have that lifting, rising quality. You can be kind of forceful. Allahu Akbar. And then, uh, you know, Allah's name, Allah, as it cascades down, I go into a softer kind of a sound. So let me show you that. So, Allah. Zikr, you can spend a lot of time in that one. Amen.